Hello friends! Welcome to another Morning Quickie with Cheryl from Inked Pulp. I'm glad to have you back and I've got a fun thing I think I'm going to make. I really like doing what I'm going to be doing here next and so I thought I would do a, a Morning Quickie. I found these little cards that I had purchased from somebody and they've been just sitting on my shelf. So I thought we would work with some of these today. And I'm going to make some backgrounds on them. And if I have time, I'll put some vocals on them. So um, before I get started, boy, I just jumped right into this. It's about 7.30 here. So I literally rolled out of bed, made myself some coffee, and uh, ready to get at it. Mm. That was my first sip of coffee for the day. So, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're joining along with me in my morning quickie. So, what I have here, I have a bunch of handmade washi tape. These are all stickers. Um, when I print my labels to ship my packages out, I print them on an eight and a half. It's a it's a double label, but they're eight and a half. Um, by 11 sheets and um, I have to cut off parts of them because you know it doesn't all fit um, or the labels don't take up the whole sheet so with those off cuts um, what I do is I cover them because they're label backed and there's no sense in throwing that stuff away so I back them with all sorts of different fabrics, napkins, um, papers, all sorts of different stuff. And so I have all of these handmade washi tapes. And what I want to do, this is something I've really enjoyed doing over the time that I've been doing this stuff, is to take a card and we're going to make like a weave on here. And I may need to make some of these a little bit narrower. They may be a little too thick. So I'm going to put, never start right up at the top there. I'm going to put this like here. And then I will continue to add. Oops, that one doesn't quite go all the way. So, well, that's okay. We can put a little piece at the bottom. Um, but I'll go this way, and then I'll turn it and go this way. This one actually has fabric on it. And I'll do some this way. And so I'm just going to start putting these down, and I'll show you as I go along. So here we go with our morning quickie. Now, you know the hardest part of all of this is getting the backing off the label. Oh, that one came off pretty easily. Okay, so I'm just going to put this. And when I saw somebody do this for the first time, um, they said not to put it like right in the corner. So we're going to alternate. Let's see. Oh, let's do one of these. And this is a really long one, so we can put this one here and have it go all the way. Um, and then we'll cut off the extra pieces. And I actually am not going to pull this backing completely off because after I cut it off, I want to still have some backing on the piece that's left and you just want to butt these right up next to each other which is why it doesn't this doesn't really work with torn paper because um it just wouldn't it just wouldn't work so let's see let's find some other how about if we do a pink one next actually and then at some point you can turn and start going the other way. So you can have multiple directions. These are so much fun when they're done. And it looks, now the last time I did this, 
I did it without the sticker paper, so I had to glue everything down. And that gets a little messier, it can be done, um, but it does get a little bit messier. A bit of thickness, this one does have a little bit of a torn edge on it, which is not good, but we'll put that one right there. That one's kind of a thick one, but uh, we'll try it. So I hope you're enjoying this morning quickie series. I'll tell you, it gets, my husband chuckles every time I say I'm going for a morning quickie. Um, but it really gets me going for the day. I love it. Okay, let's do that. Now let's cut off some of these extra pieces here. Now you just cut them off and you end up with a with a card. And I may just make some backs today and maybe for tomorrow's morning quickie we'll um, put the focals on them. And I'll just, because the background is so pretty, Sometimes I'll just put um, a bird or a flower. I don't go overboard decorating these because the backs are so pretty. So I guess these would be journal cards since they've got the rounded edges, although I could cut them and make tags out of them. Now we wanna save these little corner pieces and I'll show you why. These little triangle pieces that we cut off, I'll show you why in a minute. Oops, let me make sure I'm in the camera here. Okay, there's what we have so far. Isn't that pretty? Um, let's see, what else? How about one of these? And this one is actually fabric. I, like I said, I've got fabric, I've got napkin, I've got paper. Um, I just cover these with whatever I happen to have handy. Uh, so that's something you can do with your leftover strips. And if you, um, you know, with your paper strips even, you could even, um, you could put them down on a, um, Um, you could take a piece of label paper and put them down on that and then um, cover them. And if you have just white paper strips from cutting off your, you know, copy paper, you could um, stamp on them. This would be pretty with different stamps. You could do watercolors to give a nice little abstract. Um, you could uh, do jelly plate, um, you know, run them through a jelly plate. There's so many ways you can get patterns on, you know, plain white strips. And if you have cutoffs from, um, you know, from scrapbook paper, Um, you know, you can tea dye them. You could do a neutrals with just all tea dye on it. Oops, I'm having a hard time getting this one off. These are actually coming off pretty quick. And I think it's because they are shipping labels. They're not the standard stickers that we get. Look at how pretty that is and with a nice focal. But there's so much going on in the background that you don't need a super busy focal. And okay, so here's where we use those little corners. See, I have just a little bit of a corner up here. So I'm going to take one of those cutoffs that I had and just stick it right there in the corner and then... You know, trim it out and then I can throw away the rest of this but um, that's what those when you have little cut off corners that's what those are good for okay and then I've just got a little bit 
right down here. How about a piece of that? Let's see if I have one with more flower on it. There we go. What a nice springy card. I mean, springy, not springy as in feel springy, but for the spring. Well, let's see if I can get this off. Come on. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble. There. There we go. Alright. And we'll put this one on this way. Alright. So one down. And how fun is that? I've got a little tiny piece of a corner down here that didn't get, I mean, it is tiny, but I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to stick it in there. Yeah, it's not going to stay. I'll have to put something over that. But look at that. Isn't that pretty for a journal card? Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's see. I've got some of, not that one. Let's do one that is more in kind of neutrals. Use that on the last one. Let's use this and let's have it go down to where it's going to use up pretty much the whole label. The first piece is probably the longest piece that you're going to put down. Um, now, what you can do is just put these halfway across, and um, oops, that's not it. You can put these halfway across, and then, like here, you would go maybe not even halfway, like down to here, and then put a different piece down here. So it doesn't have to be one single pattern. There we go. All right, let's see where it is. Let's go this way this time. And you can put them at a lesser angle. You can put them at a sharper angle. You really have a lot of options on, you know, how you make this look. But I like using these labels because... I don't have to mess with glue, which is a lot of fun to just be able to stick it down. All right, let's see what else we have. How about a blue piece? And that's got a little bit of white along the edge, which I don't want, so I'm not going to use that piece. We'll find something else here. Here we go, and I'm just going to cut that off because I know that's where I need to go with it. So I'm going to give this one a little more um, variety in the way that the papers go. And really, it's all up to you. You can you could do a monochromatic one, um, you know, with all shades of different blues. You could do... Um, a nature, you know, with just all different flowers on it, or butterflies, or... Okay, come on. I'm not able to get this one off. Come on, come on. Giving me fits here first thing in the morning. Oh, so I went to the doctor yesterday, you guys, for my knee. And he gave me, oh, this one's sticking up a little bit. Let's glue that down. I may set this one aside because it's just being too difficult. Um, he released me to do anything I want to do. I'm fully released from my knee surgery. I have no restrictions on what I can and can't do. And I'm so happy. Um, the only issue right now is that my knee is not still going 100% straight. So I have to work on that. I can't get that off. Um, this one had been a 
um, collage that I did on the tape, but let's see what else we have. Let's keep it a little more neutral. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. That one's actually got a little bit of um, lace on it that I put on it. Let's see if I can peel this one off. Maybe I'm just losing. Maybe I just need another cup of coffee or a drink of coffee. I was telling my husband I feel so empowered after I do this because it's like I get up and I'm actually getting something done in my day. Let's put that right there. I took that whole thing off. I didn't mean to. So let's cut that down. And put it back on the tape. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, I've got some others here that are, we could put a little book page next to that. It's not sitting straight, so let's... Now, if you get a piece that's just not fitting, like this is not a perfect right angle corner, you can either cut your um, strip to match or just overlap it a little bit. It doesn't matter. Um, so I'm just going to overlap that just a hair. I don't like to do too much overlapping. I like to sit them side by side because then it, if you overlap a lot, it gets bumpy, but <clears throat> sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you just got to overlap it a little bit. So yeah, good news on the knee. He said, keep working at getting it straight. But um, overall, he's released me to do anything I want to do. Wow, what a journey that was. And then how about one right up here with some book page on it. And I'm not really even thinking about this. I'm just sort of laying stuff down. You could do this with tags, you could do this with um, <clears throat> covers, um, you could make little uh, notebook fronts, you know, little paper notebooks and do this on the front. Let's see what else I have. I need something with a little bit of color, still keeping in the neutrals, but because I've got the green up here. I've got a little bit of green here too. Let's let's see what I can do. And this was the one that had the white on it, which I don't want. Oh, how about that? That looks good. Get a little pop of red in there. Kind of like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. Only all the pieces have straight edges. Wouldn't that be fun if you're a jigsaw puzzle person? Of course, that might be kind of hard, too, if you were putting trying to make it fit a picture. I'm just putting stuff down. But this um, having everything with straight edges is nice. There. Got that. And I've got another. See, I've got a little tiny corner that I uh, cut off so I can hang on to that. And then all these other little pieces, I'll hang on to these because I'll use them in collage and um, all sorts of stuff. And then how about that one? I'll cut this.
this down a little bit because I know I'm not going to need all of it. This is a fun card. So I have to schedule a craft and grab for this week. And I was thinking maybe tomorrow, for those of you who don't know what craft and grab is, it's similar to what I'm doing here, only it's a live session and we craft together and I do solicit um, input from the viewers as I'm going and we make stuff. And then at the end of the session, At the end of the session, um, I draw a number and the winner will get to select one of the things that we made during the session. Huh, that is not a label, so I'm not gonna use that. That's just on a piece of cardstock. And I don't feel like getting the glue out. So, it's another really thin one. Let's see if we can find one that's Ooh, I like that. Let's put it there. I don't know how that piece of cardstock, craft cardstock, got in there, but it doesn't belong in this bag. This is for the, oops, I peeled that up, so put a little more glue. Most of these have peeled apart really well, but some of them. Hmm, that's not coming up, so I'm not going to fight with them. Actually, let's keep going this way. Instead of changing directions. Some of these have been in here for a while. I've been making these, um, and I've got a pile of labels left to do. So I just sit down when I don't feel like really making something, but I want to, you know, do something crafty. But I don't want to think about, like, making a whole piece. Um, then I will sit down and do, you know, cover these. Not that one. That might be a little too busy for a neutral look. Um, let's see here. I'm going to find something that really stays within my neutral theme. Oh, here's a light colored one. Now this one I will put a little glue on because it had been... Um, stuck down before and this is one of those little pieces I had left over so I don't throw those away unless they're really little. I keep them because they fit in the little spaces like this. There. And I want to try to keep these morning quickies fairly short so let me see if I have time to do one more. So there's that one. Look at that, isn't that cute? Let me see how far we are in here. Stand up for a minute. Uh, we're at 24 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this because I don't wanna take them too long. But I got two of them done and I will work on some more. Once I turn off the camera, I'll make some more of these. And then um, tomorrow, we'll come on and find some focal points for them. So there's the morning quickie. I hope you take some time out to do your own morning quickies and get your day started with something creative. I thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already done so, please give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. It, it does make a lot of difference. 
and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye.